Hi, my name is Nisha Tandon and I uh, work for Arts ECTA. Um, and today we are going to demonstrate uh, in front of you Kolam art. Kolam art is basically originated in India, especially in south of India. And it is an art which is done with rice flour or rice. Um, and sometimes we would use sand, but that's very, very occasionally we would use that. But it is basically the rice flour or, or the grains of rice, colored rice. Um, and it is done traditionally first thing in the morning uh, by the female of the household. Um, and it is inviting the insects and the birds to come and have them have as part of their food um or an offering uh for for the for the creatures um so this is a very very traditional art and uh, it is also done at the festivals or if the child is born or a marriage or whatever and it still exists big time in in the south of india so this piece here is a more traditional Rangoli art um, you can see if you look closely at it that it's got rice on it. So this is what we used here, We've just got some rice and coloured it. It's a very traditional method. Uh, we also have some of the coloured sand. Um, I find it easier to work with rice, it's a bit bigger, it's a bit easier to move around as well. Um, so that would be the more traditional style. Um, the style that we're going to do today, um, obviously no one's expecting you to do the rice at home so um, we're just going to make one of these we're going to use tissue paper and just colored paper gems things like that uh, you don't have to do a design like this you can pick your own design um, you can add all different things in um, you don't have to use tissue paper if you want just have what you have in the house um, and we're going to make a sort of paper example of this and yeah let's get stuck in Hi, uh, my name is Tara. I work for Arts Etka. Uh, today I'm going to do a demonstration on a um, traditional Indian art called Kolam. This is the example that we're going to be using today. It's a peacock. Um, peacocks are the national animal of India, so we're going to use that. Um, so I'm going to take you step by step through each section um, and we're going to do it together. So I've drawn out the design just as it is here. And we're going to use that sort of as our template to go by. Um, so what you'll need for this is you'll need some coloured paper, a couple of different colours and things. You'll need some tissue paper scrunched up into little balls. You'll need some PVA glue and you can add some gems as decoration as well. Um, so we're going to start by taking the design of the uh, peacock and what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the different parts with different colours so that we can build the design onto another page. This is just so we can go off by it and see what we're doing. So here I have majority of the design cut out already. I have the peacock body, I have the leaves and I have the little bits at the end. These bits in the middle here we're going to build with the tissue paper. So we're going to start just by sticking these down. Just get your glue stick. plenty of glue on the back of it and we're going to stick it down and bit by bit we're just going to build the shape of the peacock so we're using the peacock design and um, you can use any design you want you can do simple flowers, uh, food, anything that you want. Um, just draw out your redesign to go by and then you can build up on it. So I've stuck the peacock down. This is where we are so far. Um, I'm going to get a wee marker here and I'm just going to copy on the little feathers of the peacock on the head. Just like that. And then we're going to stick our tissue paper down. Um, so for this, you get your PVA glue and your tissue paper. If you get a pencil, just draw out where you're going to put it. So you just draw out just a shape like that. And then you can dip your tissue paper into your PVA 
and stick it all on. You can use any colour, you don't have to use tissue paper. If you have little gems in the house or any decorations, you can use those instead. I'm just using tissue paper here for the different colours. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use tissue paper, you can just use different coloured papers and stick them down in different little different designs. Um, but it's up to you and you want to stick the tissue paper all the way around this design um, and we'll come back once that's finished. So once all our tissue paper is stuck on we're going to get our little bits here and we're going to stick some glue on them and stick them onto the back. So I'm just going to pop three on. I know the design has four um, but you don't have to stick to the design you have. You can change it to the way that you want. It doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to stick that on like that. So then I'm going to get a marker and I'm just going to go around everything and sort of um, stick a wee border around it just to make it all stand out a bit more. So there we go. So just make your peacock a bit brighter. You can also add in some designs with the marker as well. Um, so I'm going to add in some dots onto the base here once I'm done. So just like that and then just add these on here. And we're going to go to the back bits here. Do this. I'm going to sort of follow this similar design of this and do the little pattern there. There we go. Um, so then we are going to get some gems. Again, you don't have to use gems. You can leave it as is or you can get some sequins and add them on. You can add as little or as much as you want. So I'm just going to put some decorations down. Just a couple of little bits and then around it. And we need to add the iron as well. So I'm going to use a gem for the eye, just like that, and then we can just decorate around the peacock as well if you'd like, um, just to add a bit more. You can also use coloured markers if you want to decorate around it, um, you don't have to just do it like this. But it depends on the design that you want to use. I'm going to put some gems on here as well. And then I'm going to grab just a pen here and just down by my leaves, just going to give them a little bit of design, make them look like leaves a bit more. Just to finish off, you can get the marker and just go around this, just to make it stand out a bit more. There we go. 